I was just walking down the street and I have the most precious memories from Boston. I was back in uh, 2018 when I received the honorary doctorate from my alma mater, Boston University. So it is super, super special and I think the best years of my life have been spent in Boston. Um, a lot happened actually in 2018 when I returned back to Boston uh, to receive the honorary doctorate. Um, my film that focused and put the spotlight on the burning issue of rape and gender violence had um, just won the National Film Award from the President of India. Uh, but more importantly, the film was screened for over 150,000 police officers in India. As we know, anywhere in the world, unless the police is not gender sensitized, justice will not only be delayed, it will be denied. And hence, this was a very, very critical part of the movement. And I'm very humbled to share that um, right after the film got the distinction of being the most awarded social campaign in the world. And for that, I received the honorary doctorate from Boston University. Yes, um, actually, right now, the film, uh, my latest release is called Sunrise, as in S-O-N. R-I-S-E, which is, it's time now for the suns to rise. Um, I shot this film in Haryana, uh, which is a state bordering India's capital, New Delhi. It also is known as India's seat of patriarchy. And it is from this unlikeliest corner that I found my gender right heroes. Ordinary men who are breaking the shackles of patriarchy. And to me, actually, these heroes from India and from Haryana are victories for humanity. Because if from these unlikeliest corners we see glimmers of hope, we know change is coming. The most important message that we are giving out of Sunrise is, um, actually I'm not, it's the heroes of my film who are, um, is that women are not looking for protection. Right. We're looking for allyship. And this is something that the men have shown. Our um, main protagonist in the film is a father of two daughters. He's a billet chief called Sunil Jaglan. And this man just wanted a better place for his daughters, a better world for his daughters. And today his work, which is running across thousands of villages, has impacted the lives of girls and women across India. And I'm extremely proud to share that our Sunrise hero, Sunil Jaglan, uh, was recently featured in the front page of the New York Times. And this just shows how unstoppable each one of us can be. These are men from the hinterlands of India who have who are knocking down patriarchy the world over. And I think, you know, when people congratulate me uh, for Sunrise, I just want to say that this film is dedicated to all those who are featured in Sunrise who dared to break the silence. What we found is that whether these stories are coming out of India or out of the United States, the shame is always put on the women. Um, the numbers are also very high in, in both the countries. It's just that the characters look different. But the issue is a global reality. Gender violence, gender bias is a global reality. But what I have seen after um, the Nirbhya case which made global headlines about the medical intern who was raped in the moving bus, people have started talking. And that is the first step towards change. Change does not happen overnight. We've just got to be at it. And as a filmmaker, I can only strive to use the power of storytelling to change hearts before I change minds. And there is one thing that 
as a film team, we are very committed to, and that is sensitizing the audience versus sensationalizing the issue. You know, when it comes to rape, it's very, very easy to sensationalize it, but you do nothing for the movement. And that is something, as a documentary filmmaker, you have to be very, very responsible about. And I think it was right after Daughters of Mother India, I launched my company and called it Responsible Films, so that it's a constant reminder that there is a big responsibility when you take on issue-based films. I think um, the first step, um, you know, since I am a filmmaker and I don't uh, belong to the um, corporate world, but what I have seen is dialogue is very important. Um, it's very, very important to make men a part of this conversation. And this can only be done if we create a bold and united force for gender equality. And I've seen in my films, it's very important that you do not alienate anyone. So even with Sunrise, I focused on the heroes. And I have to tell you that we've been screening across the world and the first people to get up for the standing ovation has been men. And that is triumph. Because when you alienate the other gender, it does nothing for the movement. If we are able to create that shift where men understand that this is not a women's issue, it's a human rights violation, we might get closer to the goal. What men, if they understand that it's not protection, it's allyship, we will get closer. But one thing I know is change cannot be forced. So, you know, it really comes down to the dialogues at home and to defining to the boys what it means to be a real man. And that real man doesn't have to be, you know, the one who's, I mean, we see that in a lot of films where the, I feel there's a lot of misogyny. Uh, being portrayed and the films are doing well at the box office but I think why not show them what it is to be a solid man a man who can very confidently stand by a woman in partnership not protection partnership and allyship that's what they need to see well I think uh, there are going to be so many uh, dialogues that are going to happen and I really hope that our discussion puts the heart in the dialogue and which is sometimes in order to see change, as I said, first it has to touch your heart before it changes your mind. So I really hope that through the power of storytelling, we can do that.